How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon X and Y. Last time we returned to Lumio City, and we explored the Northern Boulevard because uh, before when we were in Lumios, the power outage that was thanks to the Kalos power plant blocked us from going to that part of the city. And well, the episode before the last time we restored power at the Kalos power plant because we stopped Team Flare, so we explored the North Boulevard. And would you believe me if I said that there were still things that I could show off in Lumios? Cause there are, and I'm going to do those next time. For now, I am playing Pokemon Y cause I know yesterday was supposed to be Pokemon Y day. I know, I screwed up. I recorded a little, uh, I played a little too far in advance in Y I should say. Uh, but I'm making up for that now for a couple of reasons. Because I at least want to show off one gym battle playing Pokemon Y. And this one in particular has a lot of anime ties to it, believe it or not. Welcome to the Lumio City Gym inside of the Prism Tower. What's cooking, good looking? My future champ back for more. The Pokemon Gym here in Lumio City is just full up of electric type trainers. You can just feel the buzz, am I right? It's also known as a quiz gym. You're looking a mite quizzical, friend. You want to know why it's called that? Haha, <laughs> you'll find the answers inside. So this is the official entrance to the Lumios Gym and the Prism Tower, but as you see, there are four different ways to go. Well, you only see three. The one is behind the elevator pillar. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Ah, you're that trainer from before. Come straight for a battle, have you? Well, actually, I spent about 20 or so minutes exploring the North Boulevard of Lumios because I couldn't do that before. But sure, let's go with that. Well, good. You can call me Bonnie. I'm this gym leader's younger sister. Go ahead and step onto the small square a few steps directly ahead of you, would you? You will have to answer my questions if you want us to get any farther ahead. Well, okay. It's quiz time. Who's that Pokemon? Yes! We get to play Who's That Pokemon outside of the Pokemon anime! It's so cool! Anyway, the silhouette was clearly a Pikachu, and I would purposely get the answers wrong. I mean, I could choose the Dedene or the Amolga options, but I'm just gonna go with Pika- I'm gonna go with the correct answers each and every time. Obviously, all of the answers won't be Pikachu. <laughs> Unlike that meme on the internet where people say Pikachu for all the Who's That Pokemon segments. Um, cause there are like five floors to this gym, and if I were to purposely get the answers wrong on all of those floors, that would be a total of nearly, including the eventual gym leader, Clement, that would be a total of like 15 plus battles and, well no, that'd be 10. I did ma- why did I- well I mean including the correct answers, yes it would be like 15. Uh, but I don't want to make this episode be like 200 minutes, it wouldn't be 200, it'd probably be like 50 I ha would, if I would had to guess. Uh, so I'm just gonna do the correct answers and I'm gonna make my way through the gym. Uh, speaking of which, I did play the gym already in X version, since I'm showing it off recording-wise in Y, and I ended up using Pokemon strictly that I got off of Wonder Trade, plus the Lucario you get from Karina, and technically I could have done that this time, except I have, like, only under level 20 Pokemon, plus the Lapras and Lucario that were gifted to you. Uh, in Y, so I figured I'd just use my actual Y team uh, to play through this because it doesn't really matter if Y is higher leveled. I, I mean, it is higher leveled than uh, my X team. Also, this is a Fletchling because I can clearly see that. Fletchling is number one, Pidgey and Tailo are the other options. Um, so instead of, you know, I, I, it doesn't really matter if Y's Pokemon are like way above 
like what it, they probably should be. Really, I'm mostly concerned about that in X, because Y is the lesser version, if you couldn't tell, because we've only played Y, I think this is the fifth time Y is being shown off. It's either the fourth or fifth. Um, so, yeah. My big concern is with my Pokemon in X not being extremely high leveled. Anyway, we're dealing with a Raichu, which is weird considering the previous floor. The correct answer was Pikachu, yet the trainer had a Dedenne, and this trainer has Raichu, and the answer was Fletchling. Obviously, they're all Electric-type trainers, even though their trainer classes don't actually have any significance to that, which is really cool. I really like that, because uh, in most Pokemon games, people, uh, the trainer classes that have Electric-type Pokemon are usually scientists or nerds, because of the whole electricity thing. So, I like that they changed it up a bit for this game. Uh, also, Dedenne. Uh, you didn't really- you saw Dedenne for like two seconds and then it got poison jabbed to fainting. Uh, but Dedenne is the designated Pikachu clone in this game, because most of the generations do have them. Uh, last generation was Emolga. Generation 4's was, uh, Pachirisu, so on and so forth. Uh, so, Dedenne is actually very unique, because like Emolga, it actually has a second typing. And the second typing for Dedenne is the new fairy type in this game, so that's really cool. Oh, it's one of the elemental monkeys. You look- that looks like a water spout on your head, so I think that's Panpour. Pansage, Pansier, Panpour is the le Wow, they actually went in the elemental order, too. That's kind of cool. I do believe that it is Panpour. I hope I'm correct. I mean, I am a Pokemon master, after all. I should know the correct Pokemon silhouettes. It's trainer Rico. Alright, Ampho- Okay, yeah, you have an Ampharos. Yeah, I think you're the correct trainer, because if the correct trainer had something like a... Like a... Pichu or something, then that would be a bit weird. So, an Ampharos probably means that I was correct. Actually, I would like to know what all of the other trainers on the floors actually do have. I actually, well, when I played X, I did go ahead and uh, purposely get the answers wrong, just so, like, my Wonder Trade team, which isn't an official team, but I'm gonna call it that anyway, uh, just so they could be pretty high leveled. So, that was pretty fun. I don't remember what the trainers had though, so <laughs> damn short-term memory. Alright, we defeated the Ace Trainer. Well, that was a couple days ago when I did that, because after I recorded uh, the previous episode, I just went straight to the Lumios Gem and challenged that uh, with X. And yes, I was correct. We did have Panpour be the Pokemon. It's gonna show the silhouette anyway. Yeah, Panpour! Alright, Pokemon Master right here. Man, I tell ya, I know my Pokemon inside and out. Pokemon's one of my favorite series of all time, so I should know everything. <laughs> okay, Butterfree. Oh, there's multiple. Uh, that's a Vivian. And that is a Motham. Okay, so we have to choose the correct one. Which one is Vivian? One, two, or three? Well, that would be number two. Alright, here we go. Now, it kind of, well, no, since you did face, Viola had a Vivian, so you should know what a Vivian silhouette would probably look like. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, although that was the first gym, this is gym number five. Oh, actually, yeah, that might be a little difficult, considering, oh, well, it also depends on if it's a newer player that's coming into the games for the first time, or if it's a veteran. Hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty interesting dilemma. Anyway, we're facing off against a Plusle. That's also a Pika clone, and also a Pokemon that probably is an incorrect answer. Well, I know that this is the correct answer, because, I mean, I know what Poke the Pokemon looks like. I know what Vivian looks like. I'm collecting Vivian to show off all of their different forms, eventually. By the way, status update on that, I have five different forms. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, Sylveon wants to learn Psychop, but I'm not going to let that happen. I clicked on the wrong button, apparently. No, we're not learning Psychop. We defeated the Pokefan, who has a, uh, Flabebe, like, stuffed doll. That's adorable. I do like some of the trainer poses in this game particularly, um, since you actually get to see their artwork. Because some of them, there's like one, I think it's the male Pokefan, actually, that has, uh, their kid in their portrait shot that's dressed like a Panjum. Like in a Panjum outfit, it's so adorable. There's a lot of these trainer portraits I like, and I'm really glad that they 
uh, stuck to them, and they evolved them further in Sun and Moon with having them actually be 3D models. Anyway, there we go. We did have the correct answer. Vivian was... Co oh, there were only four floors plus Clement. Oh, that's okay. I mean, we're about ten minutes into the video anyway, so it's gonna be a long one nonetheless. Oh, thank you for coming. Allow me to introduce myself. This is the gym leader of Lumio City, Clement. You'd better watch out. My brother's strong. As strong as you'd expect a Lumio City gym leader to be, got it? Bonnie, how many times do I have to remind you? It's not my own strength that matters, nor any other trainers. None of us would be here if it weren't for our Pokemon. I know, I know. Anyway, I hope you two have an awesome battle. She's right about that, at least. Let's both do our best in battle. Here we go, we have been challenged by Gym Leader Clement, who is going to send out Emolga, level 35 electric flying type, static for the ability. With the moves Thunderbolt, Aerial Ace, Volt Switch, and Quick Attack. So, one of the reasons I wanted to challenge the gym in Y version, at least this one in particular, is because of the anime connection, because Clement and Bonnie in the anime uh, traveled along with Ash, obviously the protagonist of the anime, and Serena, the player character of X and Y, also traveled with Ash and Clement and Bonnie. So I wanted to have that type of connection there in this in uh, this episode, in this series rather. Anyway, next up is going to be Magneton, level 35, Electric Steel type with Sturdy for the ability, with the moves Thunderbolt, Mirror Shot, and Electric Terrain. I don't know if it has a fourth move. If I had to guess, it might probably have Volt Switch, because, I mean, that's what Emolga has. And also, technically, Emolga didn't have Thunderbolt listed, but... Spoiler alert, Thunderbolt's the TM we got from this gym. So I'm just gonna, I went ahead and assumed that Emolga also had Thunderbolt. It would be very weird if it didn't. Uh, Clement is going to use a Hyper Potion, because of course, his Pokemon is low health and gym leaders do tend to do that. Anyway, there we go, Sturdy activates. And he's probably gonna use another potion, honestly. Yep, okay, uses another potion. So I went for Psybeam instead, just to break the Sturdy. Uh, just so that's not in the way. Wow, Psybeam actually did not that bad damage, to be honest. Yeah, Psybeam did a good amount of damage for what it was supposed to do. Another Flamethrower is going to take out Magneton. Excellent. Delphox is gonna gain a lot of experience. And Clement's final Pokemon, which he also does have in the anime, although technically it's owned by it's owned by him, but Clembot uses it. Also, I'm very upset they didn't have Clembot in this game. Anyway, Heliolisk, level 37, electric normal type, with dry skin for the ability. With the moves Thunderbolt, Grass Knot, and Quick Attack. Again, no fourth move, but probably Volt Switch if I had to guess or electric terrain, I don't know, it's weird. That's the thing, these games have like no information about them at all. Every other Pokemon game, you have like full movesets for these Pokemon, and then for these games, either there's not information out there about the movesets, or they really only have like two or three moves on each Pokemon. It's very dumb. Anyway, we have defeated Gym Leader Clement. M my brother you lost oh Bonnie when will you learn there's no shame in losing I'm glad whenever I get to learn something new thanks to strong challengers like this girl here now to the victor go the spoils this voltage badge belongs to you We have received the Voltage Badge from Clement. 
If you have the Voltage Badge, you'll be seen as a friend and equal by any Pokémon up to level 70. And here, take this TM as well. Oh, I know, I know this one. It's TM24. That's Thunderbolt. It has a power of 90 and its accuracy is 100%. It'll never miss. It's a really popular electric type move because of that. As Bonnie stated, we have obtained TM24 Thunderbolt, a really powerful electric type move. Ah, uh, Bonnie, you. <sighs> the future is now thanks to science. Behold the machine that gives technical machines. I just wanted to be able to say it, okay? At least once. Look, I'm not... It's not like I'm going to try to make myself stronger or... <sighs> All I'm trying to do is enjoy every day to the fullest with my Pokémon, while doing the science that I love with my inventing. And that is it for the Lumios Gym. So, let's head back down to the first floor. Thankfully, we have... Uh, access to the first floor, no needing to uh, no needing to go floor by floor. That would be kind of dumb, actually, if that was the case. And let's exit the Lumios Gym to a Hollow Clip received. Hello there. I wanted to talk to you for a little bit. Could you come to Lysander Cafe? Do you know where it is? You can see it from outside the Pokemon Center, right by Prism Tower. It's the Red Cafe. Just hop in a taxi if you can't find it. Be seeing you! So, Professor Sycamore wants to speak with us, eh? Well, that is going to have to wait until next time on Pokemon X and Y, where we'll explore more of Lumio City. So, with that, I'm gonna head back into the Pokemon Center, but I'm not ending off the episode quite yet, because this Pokemon Center has a lot of references to the anime. The gym leader Clement is also famous as an inventor to those who follow such things. So many of his inventions don't work. Yes, in the anime, the running gag is Clement's inventions, like, literally never work. And then Monsieur, Lysander runs a cafe at his research lab, yes, okay. Uh, you, I think you... Oh! You're not an anime reference, you're a Unova reference! Have you heard of Team Plasma? Apparently it's making news, it was making news a while back in the Unova region. A while back, uh, I get it. A while back, because it was... Well, I mean... Oh god, this year, yeah, these games are... Oh my god, they're so old. The famous Professor Oak's grandson came here to the Kalos region to study abroad. He got Bonjour down just fine, but he still always said, Smell you later when he left. Oh, good old Gary, or Blue, or whatever you named him as a child, like, asshat. With that, now we're going to end off this episode by healing our Pokemon. So, with that, thank you for watching, and until next time, catch you later.